Hello, in this video I will demonstrate how to embed and run macros automatically on every model rebuild. In first example, we will create a macro which will automatically increment the build number in the node on the drawing. I can download the source code of the macros from this website. For this video, I will be using the macro which is called increment the numeric value in the node. The article explains how to use the macro. I'm just going to copy the source code and create new macro in my SOLIDWORKS and save this code. I simply need to create new macro, give it a name and paste the source code in here. Let's run the macro a few times to see how it works. So as you can see my build number is incremented. Now let's make this macro to automatically increment my build number with every model rebuild. I'm going to download another macro from the website and now it's called automatically run macro on rebuild. So the same as before, I just need to copy the source code, create new macro and paste it there. This macro will insert and embed macro feature into your model. This macro has few options to modify. So I'm going to change the base name of my macro feature. So it's going to be called uh, uh, build number incrementer. This is a template macro. When I run it, it will ask me to select the full path to the macro I want to embed and auto run. I just need to specify the path to my previously created macro which increments the build number. Now you can see there is a new feature inserted into my feature manager tree which is called build number incrementer. And it is also an increment build number SWP macro embedded into the design binder. This feature will take care of running my increment macro every time I rebuild the model. So if I just do a couple of rebuilds, as you can see my build number is automatically incremented. Macro feature behaves in exactly the same way as any other standard solvers feature, which means it could be deleted or suppressed. As you can see while my macro feature has been suppressed, my build number is not incremented while rebuilds. And it increments again when I unsuppress it. Both increment build number macro and macro feature are embedded into the model, which means that I could delete those original macros. I can also share this model with anyone and my build number will still be automatically incremented on build. And there is no need to run any macros or install any add-ins on those machines to make this work. As you can see my build number is incremented when I do rebuilds, even though I have deleted the original macros. And of course, as macro feature is just a native SOLIDWORKS feature, I can save it into the model template. I just want to reset my build number to zero for the template and save the file again. Now I can simply create drawings with that template, so my build number will be automatically incremented. Now let me show you another example, which allows to create a general table and link it to external Excel file. In this case, I have a bolts list defined in Excel file, which I want to insert into my drawing. I also want my general table to regenerate if my Excel file is updated. I can find and download this macro from CodeStack website. The macro is called link and auto update general table to Excel. I need to repeat similar steps as I done before, just create new macro, give it a name and copy paste the source code in there. When I run the macro I need to specify the full path to Excel file and the spreadsheet I need to load the data from. I can leave the spreadsheet field name as empty and in this case first spreadsheet will be used. As a result macro feature and the general tables are inserted. I can move my general table and also I can change it. So for example I can change the column width. When the model is rebuilt my data is going to be updated. So like in this case in my Excel I have a formula to have a current time so you can see my time is updated. I can also delete the row rebuild the model and my row is updated uh, as per uh, Excel table. I can modify table, rebuild and you can see my data is populated. There might be some performance issues when you use an Excel file as on every rebuild it is going to open Excel instance and load the file to read the data. Better option would be to use a CSV file. CSV is a neutral file which still can be edited in Excel but it doesn't require Excel to be read. 
This macro allows embedding CSV files as well. So let me run it again. Now I'm just going to browse to my CSV file which I just saved from Excel. So as you can see this is just a simple text file. So let me just select the file path. Okay, I do not need to specify the spreadsheet name and you can see my table is inserted. I will just remove a previous one. Uh, so the table behaves in exactly the same way. So if I modify the data over here, save it back to CSV and update my model, you can see that my data is populated, but my performance is much better. Macro feature will be rebuilt automatically, so it is not always required to explicitly call the rebuild operation. In this case I have modified my CSV file, but I do not call the rebuild here. I will just close the model, open it again, and you can see that my data is automatically updated when the model opens. Thank you for your time.